as the race for 2024 U.S. Presid presidential elections heats up, the Republican candidates are stepping up to appeal to the voters at an event organized in the state of Iowa. Multiple Republican presidential hopefuls gave their arguments for why they are the best alternative to lead the United States. The event, known as the Roast and Ride, was organized by a local senator on Saturday in the city of Des Moines. Now, big Republican names like Ron DeSantis, Tim Scott, Mike Pence were present at the event. The political event, which involves bike rides and barbecue dinners, saw candidates pitching their case to the voters. The Republican leaders also pointed fingers at Democratic Party leaders and President Joe Biden. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis took to the stage to reiterate his opposition to work culture. DeSantis, who is seen as the main challenger to the Republican frontrunner Donald Trump, interacted with attendees as well. As president, I recognize that the woke mind virus represents a war on the truth. So we will wage a war on the woke. We will fight the woke in education. We will fight the woke in the corporations. We will fight the woke in the halls of Congress. We will never, ever surrender to the woke mob. We will make woke ideology leave it to the dustbin of history. It's gone. Former Vice President Mike Pence, who is soon expected to file his nomination, also argued his case to voters. The former Indiana governor was once close ally of Donald Trump, but now has created a distance from the former president. He portrays himself as an even-keeled and consensus-orientated alternative. During the event, Pence launched a scathing attack on radical lefts. You know, the truth of the matter is we stand here today. The radical left has been assaulting our values and assaulting our families almost as never before. But the great thing I've seen traveling across this country is that the American people, American people are on to them. Just ask Bud Light, Target, and by the way, a message to Major League Baseball, religious bigotry has no place in America's pastime. Meanwhile, the former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, took to the stage to raise the issue of immigration. The Indian origin presidential hopeful also spoke on education and foreign debt. She was seen taking selfies with the audience. And we will make sure when it comes to our border, when I was governor, I passed one of the toughest illegal immigration laws in the country. We did a mandatory E-Verify program that said every business had to show that the people they hired were here legally. We will do a national E-Verify program. We will defund sanctuary cities once and for all. We will stop the hundreds of billions of dollars of handouts that are going there. We will go back to remain in Mexico because guess what? Nobody wants to remain in Mexico. We will keep the provisions of Title 42. And instead of catch and release, we will start to catch and deport. Entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy and former Arkansas governor Asa Hutchinson also spoke during the event. It had vibes of a political fair where about a thousand people had gathered to listen and interact with the Republican leaders.